Hi, my name is Jane Krause. I'm a longtime teacher and um, educator in many realms. I uh, was a fourth and fifth grade teacher for many years, and it was right at the convergence of project-based learning as a methodology and um, the advent of technology that I um, really started feeling like I was doing my best work. Um, and project-based learning with technology has taken me a lot of places, including into some leadership roles where I do professional development with others and authored a book and et cetera. And um, I got to thinking over some years, you know, we were so enthusiastic about getting kids to use technology well that we were kind of forgetting that people invent these technologies and that our students should be doing that too. And it was um, seven or eight years ago that I started working with the National Center for Women and in Information Technology. And um, the big goal of this nonprofit and all of its thousand institutional members is to increase the meaningful participation of women and girls in computing. And, um, and that, that need and that message really um, resonated with me and even more so when I started thinking about kind of the constructivist sorts of approaches that I really appreciated from my time teaching with project-based learning. And what I started to realize is that not everybody is afforded the opportunity to engage in the computational thinking that's behind computer science. And there are a lot of good reasons why, why everybody should have an opportunity to learn. I'm imagine, imagining that a lot of the um, people watching a video like this are um, ed tech enthusiasts and they're forward looking educators and that they're, they might be involved in a CS for all kind of initiative in their school districts or state. And, um, and we start, and so I wanna go back to well, why does that matter? Why do we care that kids have opportunities to learn um, computing? And, you know, you can make the business case. We need a lot more people in these fields because jobs are going wanting. Um, you could also make the social case that we need all kinds of minds on the problems that we can solve with computing. And right now the field is not diverse, and so we're kind of um, not getting that benefit of diversity of thought that comes with you know, um, gender and age and life experience and race and and so we just need all kinds of minds participating. So I'm glad to see these code.org and um, um, CS for All, um, big initiatives coming forward, but I, I want to think a little bit about what's behind all of this. I mean coding isn't just about learning the skills to get a job. Um, there's really a lot of computational thinking that um, is at the heart of it that we all benefit from um, developing in ourselves. And I think back to what Seymour Papert said about computers. He said, computers are like mud pies. They're stuff to think with. You know, it's the material that we use to create with. And so um, just the fact that you can do so much creative expression, you can solve so many problems with computing. We want everybody to have the skill set that allows them to, um, to solve problems with computers. I work with a lot of educators for whom um, computing is new and my definition is simply that computer science is um, um, posing a problem in such a way that a computer can help you solve it. And, and that the computational thinking that goes into identifying problems and then posing them in such a way that you can come up with technical solutions is really what um, all this whole CS for all effort should be about. And um, as I said before, the field isn't particularly diverse and we want all kinds of minds to be able to be operating in these ways that are good for computer science, but it's just good problem solving too. When you think about the logic that goes into um, problem identification, posing, and solving with computers. Um, it's just good, good reasoning that we should all be able to develop. Um, one of the limitations, I think, when it comes to boys and girls is an emphasis that we put um, on the way kids play at the very earliest ages. We're socialized so that boys are playing with kind of construction type materials. Girls are often playing with more storytelling types of um, things like dolls. And it turns out that the, the um, kind of construction style toys that boys play with really help them develop their spatial reasoning. And when you develop your spatial reasoning, you're actually better at being able to take things some, from 
the concrete to the abstract, making that leap, which is really necessary for com computer science, from the concrete to the abstract is developed through as our spatial reasoning develops. And so um, I'd just like to recommend that, and, and Nora Newcomb, she gets at this, um, she says that even though boys look like their spatial reasoning is strong and, and girls maybe don't have as much experience, that it's a very easy um, solution to just give our kids, all our students, lots of opportunities to operate in spatial ways and solve puzzles and problems and work in the maker space and, um, and invent, um, with um, wh whether it's with cardboard or computers. If we all help kids develop their spatial reasoning, it also it helps them not only enter into these interesting, lucrative, and creative fields, but it also um, just makes us better at how we approach the world. <laughs>